Good day. Welcome to the Church and the Poor. My name is Brother Hayden Augustine from the Missionaries of the Poor. And today our guests are Dr. James Carney from Chicago and Dr. Jessica Swanson from Iowa. Which part of Iowa? Ames, Iowa. Ames, Iowa. How do you see, Dr. Jim, your, your, your life back in Chicago, um, having experienced uh, the Church of the Poor here in Jamaica, how do you see that impacting your Christian life, your Catholic faith back, in, back at home? Like in your parish yes, yes. Yeah, and so forth, you know, with Catholics whom you, 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 you meet in church and yeah. so on. Or do they see you as, well, you, you're one of a kind, you're unique, that's your gift. It doesn't belong to the mainstream of Christianity in the States. Well, I do have a lot of support. Mm -hmm. I get new patients. You know, you can't outgive God. And every time I come on a mission trip, there's always some type of a blessing at the other end. Mm -hmm. New patients, uh, patients refer to me because of the work I do, and mm -hmm. I don't really advertise that this is me but they just by word of mouth mm -hmm. they just uh, they like they feel comfortable in my office knowing that I serve the poor in this wet manner okay dr. Jessica um, this is your fourth trip or my fifth trip your fifth trip. my fifth right. mission trip you came ten years ago as a student correct dr. James correct right four and, years uh, of that coming now as a as an independent dentist, practicing right. dentist, right. my yeah. husband and I both went through dental school. Yes. Rob did f his dental program after myself, yes. um, so financial limitations kept us those four years yeah. from coming and then yes. getting our practices up and running. Mm -hmm. You take on a large amount of investment debt to get okay. those practices yes. established yes. and yes. we're finally we're raising a family at the same time, yes. but yes. we've gotten to a point where they're still young. They stayed home with my mom for okay. this trip, but right. they're getting to an age where I want to serve and I can bring them to serve. Yes, yes. And, and bring them down next time. I hope to, yes. <laughs> yes. At least one of them. They're, yes. they're very yes. young and they, right. they might need a little bit more supervision. Right. <laughs> bring that. them in young. Yeah, yeah bring them, them young. young. <laughs> That's right. Yes. And what have you found this time? And what's the difference between when you came first, 10 years ago, and this trip here? Um, I did not see missionaries of the poor. Mm -hmm. My first four trips were to Mavis Bank. Okay. okay. Um, so your first time with MLP? This is my okay. first time with MLP. Good. Good. Um, inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I live in faith, but I see how much stronger some faiths are. Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. hope that mm -hmm. you pray for our, us and our ability to keep coming, yes. maybe as often as Dr. Carney, but... We certainly would pray for you to keep coming. I want <laughs> to, <and> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, mm -hmm. The children are beautiful. You know, right. there's this is at like the Bethlehem home. Mm -hmm. right, right. There's there's no you know no boundary to their love and their mm -hmm. you know, those mm -hmm. smiles are precious. Yeah. And have you your faith? You're Lutheran by practice. You mm -hmm. and Rob, mm -hmm. has your faith been enriched by this experience? Absolutely, Jessica. Yes, it has. Right. And what did you take back to Amos, Iowa, when you go back? What will you? Tell people of your the experience. message that you guys have to mm -hmm. love the poor and give them, you know, the hope that they need through mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Great, and great, 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 great. Yes, you know, we believe in the Word made flesh. That's one of our. We say we are a scripture based community, which means that our work is grounded in our belief in in the Word of God as directive of our lives. Everything we do, we we go back to what the Lord has said in His Word. You know, um, we don't separate. I mean, there's separate activities. We pray in the chapel and on the way to work and so on. Then we work. But our work, what we call in the Jesuit spirituality as contemplatives in action. You might have heard that term before. How have you experienced that, Jessica, as a Christian, as a, a Christian dentist um, here and even back in the States? Have you seen your work as coming in the way of your faith, you know, um, an obstacle to deepening of your faith in God and your trust in Him, you know, and no. your reliance on Him and not, well, I must make it in life, I am, you know, I'm my own boss. 
Can you say something about that? Perhaps the, the break from graduation until this time, the last mm -hmm. 10 years, just mm -hmm. to be sure that we were established before we were comfortable enough to come back mm -hmm. because there were limitations on our finances, yes. unfortunately, but we, there was never a break in our faith. Mm -hmm. We were still serving the Lord and yes. reading scripture and right. teaching our children to believe in Christ mm -hmm. and save mm -hmm. salvation. Mm -hmm. um, I don't believe that work, no, work does not come first mm -hmm. in our life. God comes first. God comes first. Right, and He gives you the power to work. Absolutely, yes. yeah. Yes. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have these skills yes. if it weren't for God. Very good, very good. You know, one of the things, one of the, it's almost like a cliche now. You know, I've I've received more than I have given. Mm -hmm. People say, you know, when they come to mission trips or even we missionaries, we say that we re we have received. You you we were talking before the program about the thirty three years of MOP, and I can certainly say I've received more than I have given. Mm -hmm. I can say that myself. What, are, what is your experience of working with the poor and working in, in mission lands like Jamaica these last 20 years? I would agree. Mm -hmm. And every, every person I bring on these teams says the same. Mm -hmm. I've received much more than I gave. Mm -hmm. And people, when I do get back and I talk to colleagues or patients, it's kind of embarrassing because they're saying, oh, you're doing such a great thing. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not me. It's God. And I just answered the call. And I encourage them, and you have the same gift. You just need to use it. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have been blessed with different talents. And if you, it's great that Jessica does this, but I'm, you know, or they have different callings, too. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Like, they're called to set up Mission to Mercy in their own hometown. So you don't always have to go overseas. Mm -hmm. there's, there's people right in our own backyard who are hurting. But or Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But to reach out. Yes. To uh, the, the people in Jamaica has just mm -hmm. been a, a great blessing, and that's what keeps me coming back. I think it is a, uh, you just, again, we get energized by Christ flowing mm -hmm. through us mm -hmm. to the people and to the poor, and it's just a, 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 such a joy that you get, um, you need more of it. Mm -hmm. Have you been to the other centers, Dr. Jim? I mean, apart from Bethlehem, have you been to like yes. Faith Center, Jacob's Well? Um, Mount Tabor. Mount Tabor. We have been to Mount Tabor. Yes. Mm -hmm. And these, these they, we call them our residents, no? Our residents, the people who live at our yes. homes. Um, how would you see them in terms of, you know, in a very um, utilitarian society, you know, that all of our societies are today? You know, you must produce, you must be self self sustaining, you must be, you know, you must be worth something. How, what have these residents taught you? Because they're all kept. We take care of them, they take care of each other, you know, mm -hmm. and the goal of our apostolates is to build community. That in itself is a job, no? Mm -hmm. That they live together in harmony, live together in peace and love yeah. and so forth. And sometimes they go back. Sometimes these, some of these residents go back to their communities with a whole new perspective in life, you know, including some of our HIV patients. Mm -hmm. um, how have you seen our residents Apart from the babies in Bethlehem home who are I mean, probably severely disabled, but like our residents at Faith Center and, and Jacob, the women at Jacob's Well, have you seen them in that light as people who are not just kept <laughs> individuals, but who can give something to, to us, more yes. productive people? Sure, mm -hmm. yes, I do. I see uh, how the brothers take them in, mm -hmm. and perhaps at first they're a little bit on edge, but then a calm comes over them and they just become part of the community and then they start, I think, from the brother's example of leadership, they do what they can. If they can, like uh, Junior, I can open the door and I can close mm -hmm. the door or if I can cook or sweep a floor mm -hmm. and that in itself is empowering. Yes. That yes. They're limited to maybe some jobs like that, mm -hmm. but at least they're doing something. Yes. They're not just sitting around taking handouts. Right, right. And, right. and, and not only the, uh, I guess, employment opportunities, mm -hmm. but the love that the brothers show. Mm -hmm. I know that some of the men had been a, a little more aggressive in the hospitals, mm -hmm. and they come and the brothers love them, and they're off their medications yes. and yes. sedatives. Yes. And right, right, right. 
we used to take um when I was working at Fitz and this is years ago, we used to take every Friday four of the Down syndrome residents. They're all still there. They're all older, much older now, to the market. And they will be helping us shop <laughs> okay. at the at the coronation. I mean, this is the open market. Um and that was something that taught me something, you know, that these young men, you know, are useful. They they can interact with normal people, you know, not just to hold bags, but to, but to, sure. to relate to people. And that taught me a lot about, you know, the nature of handicap or, or disablement or whatever mm -hmm. it is today. Um, God gives skills or God gives graces to people who are perhaps not as productive as we are. We, 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 we pride ourselves to be, but teach us other skills, you know, patience, you know, acceptance, um, love, as you mentioned. Um, prayer, you know, how to pray. Sometimes they pray better than us. <laughs> <laughs> how have you experienced uh, the, the, the spiritual dimension of the, of, the, of the apostolate in your experience with MOP? That the homes are not just places, you know, old age homes or you used to call them arms houses, mm? but as communities of faith. How have you, how have you experienced that, Dr. Jim? Well, our dental clinic is located at the opposite end of the hall from the chapel over at Bethlehem. Yes, yes. And to hear the brothers praying and singing, you, you just feel the presence. Okay. So close. Mm -hmm. And then we've been able to participate in uh, devotions. Right. At, at dinner time. At midday. Or at, oh, uh, yeah, right. After, if we finish up in time, mm -hmm. which we haven't been able to lately, but to get over to 5 o'clock devotion. Right. And okay. that is a very mm -hmm. special time to end the day, to start the day in prayer, end the day in prayer, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, it's really touched my life, right. my prayer life. Yes. And just to, I remember one time after, uh, um, I think we were finishing up lunch, and I see Brother John Paul just run in, gets on his knees, just said a quick prayer, mm -hmm. and thanks, or I'm not sure what he was doing, mm -hmm. then he came back out. <laughs> and I have that picture in my mind every day. Okay. When I, after work, I get on my knees, in my reception area, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable how good God has been. Yes. Whenever you can, just shoot a quick prayer of right. thanks. Right, right, right. Because right. mm -hmm. we're always asking for things. You know? yes. It seems like, I want this, I want this, but mm -hmm. thanking God for His yes. grace. And that's one of the main things I learned from the brothers. Right, right. right and right. from the poor. Right, they, yes, yes. Every time you say, how are you? Giving mm -hmm. God thanks right. for another day. Right. That yes. I have breath in my mm. body and mm -hmm. uh, giving God thanks. Yes. And, and this lady maybe only had a piece of uh, bread or something yes. like that. Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. yes. So. Jessica, you, what's your experience about that? The residents as people who can impart faith and not just people to be looked after and to be cured, you know, um, that's an image, that's a, an approach you know, that many well, people have of the poor, especially the poor we serve. The, the, the poorest of the poor, Mother Blessed Teresa mm -hmm. talks about, or we talk about the least of our brothers and sisters. And one of the, one of the central visions of Father Hulang is the poor forming community among themselves, mm -hmm. teaching each other, mm -hmm. you know, to live together in a world that is so fragmented and, and divided, no? but also them teaching us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what has been your experience about? The funeral service we were at yesterday, yesterday. we mm -hmm. saw um, several of the residents that sat in front of us. They were a joyful group, mm -hmm. loving each other, mm -hmm. rejoicing during the service, um, eager to visit um, one last time with the resident who'd passed. Yes. What's his name? Junior. 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 Mm -hmm. um, D they just lit up the room and they lit up each other's faces. Mm. I mean, there's so much love between them and yes. the brothers. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it brought a tear to my eye. They <laughs> mm -hmm. And then at the end of the service, on the, on, as they were leaving, it was the same way. The whole mm -hmm. service, they were up there just celebrating life. Mm -hmm. Their love mm -hmm. is probably mm -hmm. the strongest part of the community, I yeah. would guess.
how do you see your medical practice as a dentist um, imparting spiritual healing to the people who you touch with your with your what your forceps or biceps yes. or scalpels oh, okay. or whatever? Mm. Well. We have an opportunity here. Mm -hmm. In fact, we had a young man today who was very fearful. Mm -hmm. And in order to get him through the procedure, we just said, you know, in anything in life, if you come up against a challenge and you just say a quick prayer, mm -hmm. put it in Christ's hands. And God will give you the strength more than enough to make it through the challenge. Mm -hmm. And this little guy did fantastic. Mm -hmm. he How was, old was he? He was probably... Ten. Mm, he's a kid, a boy. <laughs> yeah, he was uh -huh. just a young man. He was, mm -hmm. you know, he's the MVP on his soccer team. And okay. sometimes coming into the dental office can be a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. But this guy left, and he was all smiles. Yes, it wasn't as big a deal. Mm -hmm. And we talked to him about any time from now mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Put your trust in Christ, Great. and He will see you through. Great. And we're able to speak freely with patients. Mm -hmm. We come across a various. Uh, Levels of Levels their of walk of right, Christ. Of faith, right, sometimes right. Uh, they, they uh, are more open, mm -hmm. but at least we open the door and let yes. the Holy Spirit take over from correct, there. Correct, correct, correct. And have you seen your faith um, change over the years, 20 years, coming to Jamaica and seeing the suffering and the struggles and... Uh, the trials of, of the poor. Have you have you seen that? I mean, even in the other projects. I certainly have. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think, selfishly, it's one of the reasons I come mm -hmm. to reground myself mm -hmm. in my faith, mm -hmm. to not get carried away and making money and saving and working on my retirement account mm -hmm. when there are suffering people in the world, right. to right. come down here and see how the real world lives. Mm -hmm. And the gift that we have been given through dentistry, mm -hmm. um, it is a gift, and to share that in Christ's name is just, it's just uh, kind of um, something that I thrive on. And mm -hmm. so I get home from a trip and I start planning for the next one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. unpacking and packing right. all the time, right. and right. I think it just keeps me going. When I first started just doing one trip a year, it was too long. To wait. To wait for the next so, one. Oh, yes, I just, <laughs> you know, the, for, for some reason it's just so joyful mm -hmm, to uh, mm -hmm. serve. Yeah. Right. As, as you, joyful service with Christ crucified. That's our motto. That's our logo, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And we experience that same joy, yeah. believe it or not, extracting painful teeth, you know, mm -hmm. and the people get up and they give you a hug and yes. you realize that if you didn't come here, mm -hmm. they would still be in that pain because right. they can't afford to go to no, no. anywhere to get yeah. it done. Yeah. Even if we sent money, if I take that $2,000 that it costs to do this, mm -hmm. because we all raise our own funds, yes. pay our own way, mm -hmm. bring our own supplies, yes. you can send it to the government, but would it ever reach the people no, who really need it? that's questionable. Right, right, so, yes. you know, Christ told us to go out mm -hmm. and... Um, proclaim his word to mm -hmm. all nations, and, mm -hmm. and that's part of our Christian Dental Society um, mm -hmm. mission right. statement, too. Right, right. Jessica, do you travel with Dr. Jim on other trips, like to other countries or other projects? Um, we have not done any other mission trips Just together. Just here in Jamaica. Just here in Jamaica, but we have um, patient like services that are in the area. There's a mission of mercy in Iowa and mm -hmm. other states that mm -hmm. we participated in and donated. Have, down, right, down, yep. Right, right. So we do some locally as well. Yes. And how does it compare with the experience here? I mean, in terms of transmitting the faith to the people of the states. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the states, there isn't as much poverty. You know, mm -hmm. some of these people that stab or show the need may or may not really have the need. And mm -hmm. I, I have, you know, I think that that's been one of my struggles since my last mission trip was mm -hmm. just like Dr. Carney, every year of dental school, I looked forward to my next mission trip. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd get back and yes. go back to school and that whole year I had Mavis Bank to look forward to. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't, you know, completing dental school, which those first couple of years, some of mm -hmm. my classmates were just looking forward to the Graduate. graduation. Mm -hmm. Mine was to, to get together another group of students mm -hmm. and get back down here. 
Um, there's a purpose, there's a goal. There was, right, and right, to serve yes, yes. The, the community here because mm -hmm. I knew the poverty and the, and the dental need here was much greater. Mm -hmm. And 10 years, you know, I, I feel that there's been a lack in that substance, yes. that, that real need. And I've done, you know, service in the community and yes. other areas of Iowa, but no, this, this is where it's at. Dr. Jim, thank you. Thanks for coming to Jamaica once again. And I wish you and your practice all God's blessings and your, 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 your mission, your mission in Jamaica.